What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except about this. How secure is this desert city? Las Vegas is booming as the big spot that Angelinos are evacuating to. This city is going to be all about water. Las Vegas is already under mandatory restrictions for yard watering, and you won't get a glass of water at a restaurant unless you ask for it. Southern Nevada's water supply comes from a combination of Colorado River water and groundwater. 90% from the Colorado and 10% from groundwater. As of this date, Arizona is under pressure to pass some sort of Colorado River drought plan that would prevent Lake Mead from dropping to dire levels. Less than 2% comes from Lake Mead, which has gotten a lot of press lately because it's only 39% full. So what's up with the Colorado River? Namely, too much. Too many demands on a weakened flow. The river is the most heavily engineered river in the world with 15 huge dams on the main waterway and hundreds more on the tributaries. And this isn't speaking about the devastating drought it's had since 2000. Snowfall is becoming sketchy and most of Colorado River's water comes from snow. But an important thing to note from scientists, the term drought implies that it will be over soon. Many scientists feel that what is happening in the West is not a drought, but rather a permanent drying out of the West. Vegas, however, has been one of the stronger voices calling for better river management, though their share of the river is small. And the Bellagio water fountains come from an old well, not from the Colorado River. So that's good. 